Alright everyone, welcome back to the channel <clears throat> and welcome back to another unboxing video. A cool one. An autographed Pop King Paul $300 mystery box. There's some killer autographs. Some tremendous possibilities in this box. We're going to open it, see how we do next. That's right guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me on this video and spending a little bit of your day, your time with me. I truly do appreciate it. Hopefully you get some enjoyment out of it. Seeing these mystery boxes. Mystery boxes guys, not what they used to be, but still a lot of fun. And still, <clears throat> one of the greats is Pop King Paul. Man, the history we have with PKP is just immense. Going way back to the, well, you know, Popcorn with flicks days. Anyway, curated mystery boxes, giveaway mystery. We did a lot of stuff with PKP. Um, this one, I don't play in all of the boxes, guys, <clears throat> as you can probably see. But this one was a really cool one. But before we get into it, do something for me absolutely free. Give the video a thumbs up. It goes a long way. Help support the channel, the algorithm. Affiliate links, discount codes, Patreon, all that down below. Patreon, very cool. Get something for me every single month. Check that out. But this one was right there. The Pop King Paul Grails and Graphs Guaranteed Overvalue Mystery Box. Um, four pops per box. Top box was seven sixty at the time of boxing. Two boxes were four hundred. Every other box was over three hundred at the time of boxing. Again, no pops under twenty dollars were used in these boxes. Um, the list goes on and on and on. But you look at it, you're going to get an autograph. Top one, I would gather, is Al Pacino. But, I mean, you look at some of those things. You know, you have a Gamora autograph, a Loki autograph, uh, House of the Dragon, George Clooney, e even uh, a Hopper Chase autograph, which is very cool. You know what I mean? So you had a, a Jon Snow is on there, Wonder Woman, a lot of very good stuff. I think everything he said was authenticated. Um, just some really, really cool pieces. For me, <clears throat> the Zoe Saldana would be a cool one. Al Pacino, obviously, would be a cool one. George Clooney, cool. Daniel Radcliffe. I mean, the list goes on and on. There's more that I would want than I would not want, basically. You know what I mean? Uh, and there's some I actually even have. You know, when you're looking at Finn Balor and a couple of these others, I had them already. But... We got not just one, not just two, but three of these boxes, guys. And we're going to play the little game we do because we're going to open it. We're going to pop price guided on this video. And then we're going to come back with another video and see how it holds up with fair market value. Even having you look at autographs with fair market value. Very cool. First time I think we're doing autographs. So let's dig into this. Let's see what we got. Um, again, don't play in mystery boxes, guys, unless you're willing to risk because every mystery box guys you know is a gamble understand that all right so let's see what we got all right so stack stack protector protector so let's put these down here two stacks and a protector might not be a, a you know a, a george Cl or you know a pacino or clooney our first one that's a cool one. This is from Disney's Descendants. Obviously, people remember uh, Carlos, uh, who passed away, the actor passed away. But this was, this was a cool movie series. I think they did three of them. This is Eve, which I believe is um, the daughter of uh, the, the witch from Sleeping Beauty, I believe. Cool pop. Um, not sure. I mean, this is going back couple years here 20 let's see eve ppg eve 55 bucks and actually 2016 on this pop all right let's reach in and see and pick our next one and our next one in a protector is in you asha pop animation from in you asha cool one um i don't know much about it but Cool, and this pop, $23. All 
All right, now we get into the stacky boys. When we tap that stack, we always think of our favorite popcorn company, popcorn with flicks. I'm only gonna do it once, guys. I'm not gonna do it twice. Just, you know, tap that stack. All right. And our first one in a stack. Uh, it is not the autograph, but this is Spider-Man 2, which was the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. This was Jamie Foxx's character, Glow in the Dark Electro. Very cool pop. Uh, and as the time of boxing, this one was $110. And we've had that pop uh, before, I think. Yes. Anyway, 110 on Electro, which means the last one is our autograph. Um, and that autograph is, it is a cool one. But one we do already have. Although I don't know if I have the character name on this one. So maybe we keep this one. Uh, this is Karen Gilliam who plays Nebula from Guardians of the Galaxy. This is from Guardians of the Galaxy 3. It is JSA certified authentic. Very, very cool Nebula. Um, like I said, I don't know if mine has the character name. So this one, we might actually keep this one. But uh, very cool, very cool. Uh, Nebula. Let's see, at time of boxing, this one was valued at $120. So guys, a very decent mystery box. We paid 300. We come in at 308, so it was overvalue. Um, Electro, Inuasha, Descendant Eve, and the autograph was Nebula. So not one of the top hit boxes, but still a very cool one. Um, I'm not sure how this one's gonna price out when we do this one. It should be interesting. Stay tuned uh, in a day and see how did this box price out? How did fair market value compare to pop price guide and what's fair market value on an autograph stay tuned to that video and check it out also make sure to check out pop king paul i'll list the website down below and uh enjoy our other videos guys catch us live on sunday be well be safe and we'll see you there mm -hmm.